Is this the first superhero movie that actually shows tits? I don't know why that's my first thought, but when I came out of that theater, I'm like, this is the first superhero movie with tits, and that was like really exciting. Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. You're gonna do a superhero landing. Wait for it. Woo! Superhero landing. Yeah, that's really hard on your knees. Okay, I'm gonna cut to the chase because you kind of have the idea here. Ryan Reynolds starred in a movie called Wolverine's Origins. Peace of shit. Nobody, nobody I've ever met said that was a good movie. He was Deadpool in that movie and he was sewn shut. His mouth was sewn shut and then he could not talk. Deadpool, if anything, is like a very annoying piece of shit that keeps talking that you want to punch in the face. So don't take that away from his character. So here comes Deadpool. Years later, Ryan Reynolds is back. He's been wanting to do this movie forever and he does. The story is simple. You gotta get the origins of Deadpool and they go for more of the newer origins than the original, which is fine. Not a big fan of Deadpool anyway, so I didn't care. And basically you've learned that he has cancer and he uh, goes through these experiments, kind of like a Weapon X type experiment, to become the Deadpool. He cannot die, he's super regeneration. Now they don't have all his powers in here, like sometimes he has this teleporting power, sometimes. Other times he's super strength, but other times he's not really that super strength, he's just regenerating so you can't kill him. It's kind of mixed match here, that he's kind of stronger than he is, he's flipping around doing cool moves, but he's not like super saiyan strong. Either way, he is Deadpool in this movie. That, and it's really kind of like a mix of a love story, an origin story, and an action movie all in one. And it does a pretty good job of supplying all those things. We are going to get to the good. Not everybody likes Deadpool. I am a semi-fan. I think he's kind of funny, but kind of annoying. In the comics, he has to be written the way I like him. And he's written by so many different people now. Joe Kelly has probably done my favorite version of him. But I've always had kind of a, like, a uh, uh, overrated feeling when I'm reading his stuff. So I wasn't that hyped for the movie. However, he is done the way you kind of want him. Fourth wall breaking, quick and very snarky jokes, and my favorite thing is he does not hold back. I mean, this movie, he is saying shit that you cannot get away with if you're not Deadpool. I mean, he is making fun of things that go beyond what you hear in most comedies because you're scared to say it now. Also, something I was really happy with was the action. It was actually pretty damn good. It's not the greatest action, a little too much CGI, which I'll get to later, but it was really well done when it hit. I also just love the pop culture references. Now listen, I'm 50-50 on these things. Sometimes I think they're thrown in and forcefully done that I'm to the point where I'm like, stop, you're not funny, you're stupid, only stupid nerds will like this stupid fucking comedy. Sorry, it gets to me sometimes. But they did it really well here. A lot of the jokes hit. My favorite ones being ones I probably have to watch the movie again because people were laughing at the obvious jokes when I like the little uh, small jokes that is thrown here and here. And I especially like the one about um, Xavier and which actor is now playing him. I thought that was a great freaking line. So I do love the fact that Deadpool is able to supply the jokes to make fun of the movies that we make fun of but don't really have any voice. He does in this movie and now we can see that. Listen, it's not all perfect though. There are two flaws to me that are just glaring for me in this movie. One, and this is my biggest issue, the pacing. It is like so cut up to the point where I don't know why I felt bored at points, which is not good. Listen, I'm all for a real emotional story and I, I write uh, about cancer, so I, I, I hate the disease. I know that some parts were really well captured of how to deal with it, but a lot of it just felt really slow, and I wasn't really invested in the emotional love here. It didn't feel too real for me. Um, so with that and going back and forth between the action, I'd rather have had the origin story thrown at me in the first 25 minutes and then get, or 30, and then get to the pure action all the way through. It would have left a better impression on me. And I get that they wanted to break it up, which is cool, because it starts off with a very fun action scene, but it just kind of slowed it down too much for me. Another thing is not all the jokes hit. And sometimes my favorite jokes in this movie are the ones that are smartly done. There's just too many of the dumb jokes sometimes. Like, fuck Skittle Biss or something like that. Like, he just makes up words combining curses like, that shit, dicking, fuck face, bitch, cock sucking. I mean, it's, it's, you know, like, I love cursing. It's one of my favorite things in the world. But it's not always funny, and there's a lot of that 
luckily it's like split where there's the funny and not the funny and not the funny might be funny to other people you know comedy is very subjective but for me some of the forceful jokes were definitely present in this movie listen i don't want you to come out of this review thinking no don't see deadpool because deadpool is pure entertainment it is one of the funniest it's got to be the funniest superhero movie i've ever seen i have not laughed at a superhero movie since maybe kick-ass and I think Kick-Ass is a better movie, but I think this was a little funnier. It was fun, action-packed, and it had moments that I was like literally just laughing my ass off. And also some great action scenes. Yes, there was a little too much CGI. Yes, the love story is eh. And yes, some of the jokes were forced. But overall, as pure entertainment, it's a very easy watch. It's very entertaining. I'll probably watch it again. There's tons of jokes that you kind of have to watch twice just to get some of them. So I really can't wait to watch it again just to get the ones I missed. So overall, shut my mouth up. Deadpool is going to get rated. I don't know what the fuck that was. Deadpool, I'm going to give a 3 out of 5. And that's pretty damn good because I was coming to this movie thinking a 2 out of 5. This is going to be some funny jokes, but it's mostly a stupid-ass movie. I liked it quite a bit. I think the floors are glaring, which is what it brings it down two points. But 3 out of 5 to me is still above good. It's, like, good and great. Like, right there. And I think with a second movie with Cable, they're going to balance the chemistry more. That's going to be a great movie. So right now, 3 out of 5. Go check out Deadpool. Definitely worth checking out in theaters. You're going to get some really great laughs and some awesome action scenes. Just don't expect a perfect Deadpool movie, but definitely a big improvement over whatever the fuck Wolverine Origins was. That was a P... I... I'm gonna go. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. X go give it to you. Wait for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to